They'll be calling you a radical. Fukushima, the economy, the soft lackadaisical fucking pieces of fucking dog shit and they're sucking the fucking life out of us as we try to fight for our lives. This is about survival. This is about survival. Fucking, they have slowly bled this in Fukushima. They have slowly bled this fucking in. Remember, it took them four fucking months, five months, to even say there was one full call. I'm the only one reporting it in real time. I'm not Naomi Wolf. I'm not Chris Hedges. Fucking write a book. Oh, I can't believe this happened five fucking years later. I'm fucking telling this tale in exact detail as it fucking happens. Sometimes before it fucking happens. You guys don't give a fuck as they bled it. Oh, fuck, there's not a full core meltdown. Four months later. Oh, one full core meltdown. Oh, fucking. A year later, oh, it's three. They totally trickled. Well, the whole story's out. They fucking trickled it into you right out of the Chernobyl playbook, right in your fucking face, and you don't, still don't give a fuck. I've come to the conclusion, all you fuckers love nuclear. America is so degenerate, so gone, so fucking jolly old England, kiss the fucking ring, repress, use reloss. Oh, oh, fuck that crazy fine radical tariff. What a radical fucking idea. Oh, get rid of nuclear? Fuck, the discussion was over. Oh, it's gonna happen. Could fucking happen. No, it happened. Well, we've been fucking our worst fears. It fucking happened. It's all over. It's cancer's going fucking psychotic here. It's going fucking crazy. In Utah, it is the giant... Beyond, it's fucking 800 herds of elephants in the fucking room. No one will even talk about it. Every single fucking person has fucking horrific stuff. Two of my neighbors post Fukushima both fucking died of leukemia. One this fucking week. It's gone psychotic. It already fucking happened. Number four, the spent fuel pool. Oh, oh, God, it could be the life-ending fucking event. Let me tell you something, dumb fuckers. Fucking four. They went dry. They got dispersed over us. Do you know what kind of fucking radiation has been spread over the top of fucking North America? You know how many people, you know what the cancer rate has done in this fucking country? You know what the fucking has happened to the Pacific? It's fucking gone. And you fuckers don't give a fuck. Our small teeny teeny handful of people who are real activists, who really fucking try, we are on our own. This is worse, we're, we're fewer than Spartans. We really are. And I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you. I put out a video. How many views? Six, eight hundred fucking views. Everybody fucking saying, get your asses over to the fucking waste hearing at the NRC. That's more important than the song shutdown hearing. Get over there. Get over there. And I want to say this to all you phony pieces of shit in Southern California. You phony, lazy, worthless pieces of shit. Not only are you worthless, all you so-called people that are jumping in this fight are worthless. The same people that were there 30, 40 fucking years ago who now jump in at fucking Fukushima and start and claim the fame to fucking song. You're not only worth, you're worse than fucking worthless. You are the fucking problem. When the fucking progressives had the Democratic Party, we had fucking power. Remember, John Kennedy was anti-nuclear. But what happened? The liberals stole the fucking Democratic Party. And they turned into this soft fucking passive debating site, and the fucking bully looks right at you. They look right at you and says, you soft pussy pieces of fucking shit tree huggers. Sit the fuck down, you pussy fuckers. You soft fucking fucking hippie fucking pieces of shit. And they go, okay. And they do. You're sucking the life out of me. You suck the life out of this movement. They're a bunch of phony pieces of shit. And all you fuckers that come to my face, I don't send out friend requests. And you don't like my fucking language. What the fuck are you coming to me? Who the fuck do you fuckers think you are? I'm fighting for my fucking life full of ammo. I'm fighting for my fucking life. I'm fighting for my kid's life, my grandkids' life. Fuck every fucking one of you. And when you fuckers get cancer, I'm here to fucking tell you. Worthless fuck. No, you're worse than worthless. You are the fucking problem. You suck the fight out of this fucking movement and allow them. They're circulating a map around now. Get this. These are supposedly anti nukers This is how fucking this game works. They don't have to play it on us. We'll do it to ourselves because you're pathetic. They're circulating a map around right now saying, oh, look, all the plume is circulating to South America. Total bullshit fucking propaganda. And then a guy comes back to me and says, Well, Kevin, you know the ratings are high in Brazil. I have a guy from Brazil from day one who has sent me the fucking data. So does Shane. So does Tony. We have all these. I have the guy that was in my site from day four. They were spiking in day four. This is the kind of shit that we're up against. So let me tell you pieces of dog shit that have, we have lost. We fucking got our... And not just on Chernobyl... The fuck, we lost 3-11-11. It was over. It was fucking over. We lost. I'll tell you right here, right now. As I painted that in 1994, the nuclear vagina, the nuclear triangle. Japan. There's the script in Japan. Russia, then in the United States. 
There's the fucking plume. You think you're going to go 25 years without another one? You're fucking crazy. There could be another one going on right now. There could fucking be one tomorrow. There could be one right... The next one's probably going to happen here. Because they're old, they're fucked up. We, we dodge bullets. In. And it's going to be so fucking epic, fucking horrific. And I'll, I'll tell you right now, I don't want one of you motherfuckers. I, I want to the future generations. I want to say this to all the future. To the future. I am so, so sorry. I am so, so sorry that there was a very handful of few of us that we tried. Helen Caldecott, myself, a few of us, we fucking fought with passion. We fought strongly. We tried. We are so sorry for giving so many of you cancer before you were even born. We're so sorry for you being born into a fucking country of fucking ring-kissing fucking phony assholes, of total fucking debt, no fucking job market, impoverished. There's a few of us. I am so sorry that we ravished and pillaged this fucking environment. And killed so many of you and fucking gave you cancer. Let me tell you, you phony pacifist pieces of fucking shit, this. You think, oh, fuck it. This is how phony and fucking arrogant the American populace is. I still get people all the time, oh, read this, Kevin. Here for cancer. I have one of the worst, most aggressive forms of ammo leukemia you can possibly get. Do Nouveau OS. It fucking mows you down in days and murders you so fast it'll fucking tear your fucking... You, you, I got no shot. I'm telling you. This disease gets you, you fucking people really think there's a cure for cancer. You're so fucking gone. You're either you will cut your brass off, have your prostate fucking tore out, and you still fucking so many of them die. No, this is leukemia. No, no. So, all you fuckers that send me this, every one of you, because you're going to get your turn. Every one of you, so many of you fuckers are going to get your fucking turn. And when the doctor tells you you have a cute fucking leukemia, you say, oh, well, this doctor and this snake oil salesman down in Texas, Dr. Benzine, or this snake oil salesman in Oregon, this snake oil salesman says, uh, he says, smoke some weed, take some benzene, fucking do this, fucking, you know, uh, drink some fucking whatever, eat this, but you tell your doctor that, and you, you go for that. You fucking go for that. And watch this fucker. I went, as it rips your body apart in five minute by minute. I was losing seven, eight pounds of fucking in. I'm a strong fucking dude. And I'll tell you, if you don't know how to fight, I've watched it. I really used to think that was all bullshit. The people, oh, fuck. I used to think, oh, fuck, everybody fights. They don't. And I'm here to fucking tell you. The girl that's on my Facebook, Allison, and and most girls, you know, they're fighters. But this girl was so intense and so hardcore. Fuck, she had this fuck. She battled this for six years. Her hair won't go back. I mean, you want to talk fucking millets, but I've watched so many other ones the fucking same fucking thing they do in the nuclear fight. Good luck, fuckers, all I gotta tell you. You go fucking smoke some weed, and you go fucking eat this, and you fucking use this oil, or you use that fucking thing, or you use this fucking whatever fucking clay, whatever, whatever all your bullshit is. And people should be saying, Kevin, you survived a cancer against fucking all odds you should never survive. How did you do it? But no, here's what they do. Hey, read this, fucking this. This is the arrogant pathetic because you're going to fucking get cancer. I'm fucking here to tell you. The vast majority of you are going to get cancer. And by having knowledge and being in this fight, not, not fucking sitting fucking behind a computer and saying, you know, that's important that we do this, but in the real fucking fight, your chance is going to be so much greater to fucking survive this fucking disease. And you're going to be looked back in fucking history because you passed it. I put up that call to go down to the songs here, and nobody fucking went. Nobody went. And let me tell you some songs being shut down means shit. It means fucking nothing because it's spent fuels on site. doesn't mean nothing. So if an earthquake rips through there, the whole fucking region's gone forever. forever. That's what people don't get about this fucking thing. Chernobyl's the size of the United States. Fucking gone forever. I mean forever. You fuckers don't give a fuck. Fukushima. Oh, fuck, it's nothing. The Pacific fucking gone. They trickle it into you like a fucking frog. This isn't something's going to happen. Oh, number fours are put. Number fours are already all over. Cancer's going crazy. I've up my fucking estimate. I estimate right now that Fukushima is killing between two and three thousand people in the United States a day. And I know it. I've confirmed this. This my work's not just fucking off the fucking hip like the fucking you pacifist fuck. When you pieces of fucking lazy dodge, I'm, I'm like, please get us some video. Go ask some hard hitting questions down there. Remember this, at 2.12 when the songs hearing went down there? I went down there on a fucking... I just fucking winged it. I didn't even know Joni Ray. Stranger picked me up at the fucking airport. We went over there. 
We actually went to the generator. We, it's her and I who made all those videos for the media. We stayed up all night mixing it. Her and I is the one that exposed so much of this corruption in those little teeny videos. And we made sure we got them that night so print media could fucking get their eyes on them. I was in critical fucking condition. Critical condition. Against the fucking orders of my fucking doctors. I've done so much of this. Like, and you pass me, you can't even get off your fucking lazy fucking asses and go within fucking 10 minutes of your fucking house and send us a fucking YouTube video. You fuckers paint me sick. You pacifist soft pieces of shit are the fucking problem. You've sucked the life out of this movement. We've lost for 40 years and with 311 half, like Kellen says, we fucking lost. Yeah, we fucking lost. That's fucking right. Not going to happen. This is survival. So this fucking fight of mine now isn't even about fighting the fucking nuclear. Because you fuckers obviously love nuclear. You fucking love it. You want fucking cancer. You want cancer. You are so hateful of others and other people. This is the hater fucking society from fucking hell. You got no game. You got no sex. You got no fight. You got fucking nothing. You got no intelligence. You got no ambition. You got nothing. You got nothing. So I'm going to go get me a gun so I can overcompensate for my low IQ. Yeah, fuck you. You got nothing. You got zero. That's what all you fuck. So you, what do you do? You turn into the hater and you play defense. Oh, good. Fuck, I hate my own kids. I hate my own fucking wife. I hate my own family. I hate my own... I hope they all get cancer and fucking die. Really? Well, when you get it, motherfucker, you're willing to fucking give it up because you want cancer. You fuckers want nuclear. It's obvious to me. It's obvious to me. This is in plain sight. We have told this in exact detail, the greatest cover-up in the fucking history of the world. We've gave you names. We've gave you exact fucking... Name. Nothing. You don't care. Because the past of us has sucked the life out of this fucking movement. Fuck you. I don't want you. I don't. This ain't a popular contest. I'm fighting for my life, my kid's life, my children's life, my friend's life. This, the fucking few in here who I love and care about. Because I'm not a fucking hater. I love life and I love fucking people. You fuckers don't. And you pacifist fuckers, when the bullet gets in your faces, sit down, you fucking soft pussy fucking tree huggers. Ha <laughs> fuck you, you hippies. You fucking pat, you fucking. Uh, you got, okay, okay, sorry. You lost the fight. We, we lost. We lost. This is survival now. This is pure for fucking survival. In my videos, I'll fucking start talking more about cyber because it's obvious. We're not going to shut down anything. We're not going to do it because you want them. You want nuclear. You want to be killed. You want to play into the hyper. Oh, dirty coals and I'm saying more. Which, what a fucking lie. They just feed you your fucking line and you repeat it like the monkey fucks you are. Fuck all of you. Except my, I mean, our small pure fucking group, you know who you are. You know who you are. There's some fucking doers, but we're so fucking few and we're so small. And when future generations look back, they're going to look back and they're going to hate this fucking culture and society so hard. They already do. You start talking to the younger underfed, they fucking hate us. They fucking hate us. Well, rightfully so. If I was a younger, I'd hate As I say, I'm going to say this in every video from now on. To the future generations who watch this in the future, I am so, so sorry we gave you cancer before you. I'm so sorry that our arrogant fucking baby boom piece of shit fucking generational arrogance and we claim it in the name of God phony pieces of shit. I am so sorry we did this to you. We're not all that way. Just 99%. Yeah, you want to talk 99%? The 99% of the apathy. The 99% who don't give a fuck. The 99% who can't see. The 99% who just accept. No wonder the fucking 1% tramples us like we are. It's so fucking easy. It's so fucking easy. Stay on tune.